Hello scientists, welcome to Drabal Mad. I'll be drawing alveoli in this tutorial. If this is the first time you're at my channel, welcome. I'm scientific illustrator John, and I create these graphical abstract tutorials for scientists. Yeah, so you can follow them to create beautiful scientific illustrations for your publications. And uh, I will be showing you how to create that in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So here's the example from Nature Review, and I will first create an ellipse, and I will use a radial gradient, and then make the uh, gradient into a red gradient. Uh, I'll go to the color guide to uh, use a lighter red. Okay, and here I'm shifting the radial grade, uh, center of the radial gradient a little bit to the upper right. So uh, it was it was it, it will seem that the um, light is coming from the right. Okay, uh, I will play with the um, the size of the gradient a little bit. Then we can scale it down, and then I will start duplicating it into like a cluster of grapes. I'll speed up the process here, so you don't need to wait for the uh, these adjustments. Okay, and I'll scale it down a little bit again. Okay, and now we're ready to create the respiratory bronchioles. So first I will create a straight line. And then I will increase its thickness to 40 points. Okay, and uh, I will change the color to the uh, red that we're using. Okay, uh, now I make a copy of it and then rotate it a little bit so they can start to be the base of our branches. Okay, then I'll make another copy, then elongate it. And then I'll select one anchor point and then click on the uh, smoothen the anchor point. And then you'll see that it can create the curving effect on the path. Okay, then I'll start to do some adjustments so the branches can be in place of where they should be. Then now I make a duplicate. Now I make a, another copy and also uh, make the anchor point smooth. So this will be that really short branch that's coming out. Okay, let's copy our avioli. Okay, I'll do some minor adjustments here and there. Uh, so I'll speed up this part until we will start to create the outline for our alve alveoli. Uh, so uh, I will first make a copy of the entire structure, the alveoli, including the bronchioles. Then I will make everything black. So the paths are black and uh, no fill on the path. Then I'll select the bronchioles and expand it with the strokes only. Then I'll go to Pathfinder tool to unite everything. So uh, now I'm able to switch to the outline mode and then the it will be the entire uh, outline of the bronchioles plus the alveoli. I'll give the outline a gray color Okay, and now we're ready to create the uh, highlights for our uh, bronchios. And by giving it the highlight, you can create a three-dimensional tube uh, feeling uh, on your bronchios. So first, let's make a copy of uh, the bronchios. And then I make it uh, thinner. 
I will change the stroke color into a lighter color. Then I'll go to blur, Gaussian blur, and uh, just blur up the entire thing. And when you move this blurred version of the bronchioles back onto um, the original original paths, then you'll see that they have become uh, like the light that's uh, shining on to the bronchioles. So I'll move the alveoli to the front and also the outline to the front. Then uh, you can have a three-dimensional tube-like bronchioles here on top of your alveoli. Okay, and uh, there's an opening of the bronchioles. So let's create an ellipse. And let's change the fill to the darker red and then also give this part an outline of the gray that we are using. Then move it to where it should be at the opening. Okay, great. And we have to do a little bit of adjustment at the top because you can see a part of the highlight is uh, poking out. So I will just very quickly take it back down into the outline and then you can group everything. But before scaling it down, make sure uh, you go to the transform window and have the scale stroke and effects checked uh, with that uh, by having this checked then you can um, the, the stroke thickness will transform along with your scaling down process all right and uh, there's one last thing we need to do uh, which is expand the ex appearance of our blurred stroke so now they become uh, an object that can be scaling with us. So now everything is ready. We can group them and scale it down to the size that you want. So yeah, that's how you create alveoli in your graphic abstract. I hope this can help you with your research. And uh, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to DrawValMad for more of these graphic abstract tutorials. Also, I've set up a system called the DrawValMad helpline, which can uh, let you to uh, make your request a pri prioritized request. This is a system I set up and hope to help the scientists who have an urgent need to know how to draw a certain structure. So you can check out the Patreon link in the description below. Please keep on letting me know what kind of structures and topics you like to know about scientific illustration uh, down in the comments. They are really good inspiration, not only uh, to help me to make videos, but also help the scientists around the world. So uh, I wish you all happy Drawball Med, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.